year's Edinburgh and Lothian Schools Film Competition includes work submitted over the last two years. In 2020, the competition was paused due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We are thrilled that we're able to run the competition again as part of the 2021 Edinburgh International Film Festival. Over the last two years, we have seen films submitted that have been made in a number of ways. From those made in schools as class projects, those made as part of higher media work, or as part of creative programmes in schools, to films made during lockdown, when young people were doing their learning at home. This year's youth jury have considered the different circumstances that films were made in when devising their categories this year. They have taken great care over their decisions and how they have shaped this year's event to reflect the varied selection of films submitted. The youth jury met weekly this summer in online sessions where they discussed different methods used to curate and score films. They watched through the submissions, scored films using a system devised by them all as a team, and then devised categories and deliberated the nominees and winners. They have worked to a fairly tight schedule, but have been dedicated and enthusiastic throughout. Work from the last two years has also shown the great wealth of creativity, ingenuity, hard work, and a passion for film that there is across Edinburgh and the Lothians. Hello, I'd like to give a very warm welcome to everyone watching this event which is the Edinburgh and Lothian Schools Film Competition, a part of the Edinburgh International Film Festival. It is run in partnership with Screen Education Edinburgh, Centre for the Moving Image, and the Arts and Creative Learning Team at the City of Edinburgh Council. I'm Alex, I'm 18 years old, and I'm a member of the Youth Jury, in charge of judging the films and presenting this event. I'm going to pass you over to other members of the Youth Jury, who will tell you a wee bit about our job as a jury and how we judged each of the films. Hi, I'm Alice, I'm 17, and as another Youth Jury member, I'm going to tell you a bit about the process we went through as a group. Over the past few weeks, the five of us have been meeting over Teams with our project coordinator, Laura, to watch through and score your films using an online form. We scored your films according to eight different criteria, which allowed us to take into consideration the strength of every single film. Once the films were scored, we decided upon the categories, nominees and winners together. Hi, I'm Laurie and I'm 16. The process for the year this year has been longer than usual, but enjoyable. As we've looked at two years' worth of submissions, last year's competition didn't run due to COVID, it's been slightly different. However, that didn't change how impressed we were by the high standard of submissions, so thank you to all those who sent in their films. Hi, my name's Isla, I'm 17 years old, and this year's event will be covering all films from primary, secondary and special schools, rather than splitting them into two separate events. All winning schools will receive a clapperboard featuring the name of the film to be displayed in schools. Hi, my name is Maisie. I'm 18 years old and I'm the final member of this year's Youth Jury. Over these past two years, we've received a vast number and range of entries from our primary and special schools. We start with awards for our primary and special school films, but first we'd like to showcase a snippet of all the entries we've received over the past two years.
Over these past two years, we have received a vast number and range of entries from our primary and special schools. Entries have covered such a wide and interesting variety of subject matters, everything from bullying to social inequality as well as crime and global warming. These subjects are extremely important for young people to learn about, and it's really excellent to see that they are using film to showcase this knowledge. As you were just about to see, the wealth and quality of the work coming from Edinburgh and Lothian schools is just remarkable. Our first award is for the most impactful film. While a lot of the entries were very funny, there were some films that dealt with serious subjects, such as homelessness, climate change, and living with disabilities. We were all really impressed with how these films raised awareness for these topics, while still being entertaining at times. Each of the films selected had a real emotional impact on us. The nominees for most impactful film are... People would see our children, they see a big wheelchair with a lot of medical stuff around. But our children love communicating with people and they love when people come close. And we can see that when we go out to the community. I think for our children, the five senses are really, really, really important. You see the world how you see it, but they see it differently. Our children are not verbal, but they have a voice. Um, we need to collect those letters in, um, so if you've got your slips back um, with the money, can you bring them out now? Okay. Well done, Thanks. Here we have an iris. Yeah. Okay. You okay, Nicole? Have you got your slip and... Oh, yeah, are you already signed? My parents already signed me, I just forgot it at home. OK, all right. Well, don't worry about it, but try and bring it in tomorrow. OK. okay. Hi. You look like you need some help. There's this cafe down the road um, called Social Bite, and it employs homeless people. Would you like to see if you can get a job there? Um, yeah. Here's a gift of kindness. See you tomorrow. Now, over to our reporter, Neve, live from the Arctic. The effects of climate change here in the Arctic include rising air and water temperature, loss of sea and ice, and rising water levels. Thanks, Neve. Single-use plastic also releases gases which can cause climate change. And the winner for most impactful film is... Oakland School is a school that provides educational, social um, opportunities for children aged 3 to 18 years old that have a range of complex long-term additional needs. The educational staff work together with multiple agencies, so speech and language therapists, allied health professionals, social workers, every other professional that's involved with the young people to ensure that they have robust and holistic support. When people see our children, they see a big wheelchair with a lot of medical stuff around. But our children love communicating with people and they love when people come close. And we can see that when we go out to the community. I think for our children, the five senses are really, really, really important. You see the world how you see it, but they see it differently. Our children are not verbal, but they have a voice. 
We always have a very positive experience when we go out and about in the community, which we do on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Each week, like we'll go to the Botanics, mm -hmm. Music for All, mm -hmm. Parks, Lords and Castle. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's a huge part of our kids' education experience. You know, social integration, being in the community, being visible every day, every week. Our kids are meeting people using public transport, accessing public resources. And I think this also feeds back maybe into their parents' experience and gives them maybe the confidence that when they leave school that they can do the same. It's such a fantastic experience for our learners, building confidence mm -hmm. and building self-esteem and also for the public to see the way we work with our mm -hmm. learners. The people in the community are also really helpful usually with the change in places, bathrooms being introduced. In City's pavements are not easily accessible for wheelchairs. With our kids there's often a lot of people do stop and stare. Places like the yard are more accessible to our kids. They've got hoists, sensory rooms, big spaces for the wheelchairs and things to be able to move around. Our young people have the right to experience what life has got to offer them. We need to challenge these young people to be as successful as they can be. In order for us to be able to do that, I think we need to break down some of the barriers that exist in some aspects of society. It's really important that they get to know the things that are around their local community that they can benefit from and enjoy doing. The opportunities that we generate and facilitate um, and seek out all the time for our young people, we hope that those are the opportunities and experiences that will continue post-school. So when they're young adults, they'll be as involved and as a part of their local community once they leave school as they are in school. But for the future, we hope that by being visible in the community, by being out and about all the time, by showing what amazing things that our young people can contribute to society, that that puts a bit of an onus on everybody within society to think about what can you do as an Edinburgh citizen, what can you do to make sure everybody's included, to make sure everybody's valued and everybody is visible and has the same opportunities across the board. Hello, my name's Rebecca Vaughan and I am the very proud head teacher of Oakland School in Edinburgh. Thank you so much for awarding us with your Impact Award. This is a huge achievement for the children and young people at Oaklands and it's so important that their efforts have been recognised in this very public way. I'm so sorry that you've not got a pupil or a member of staff from Beach or Spruce class who were the two classes involved in making the film today and you're stuck with me but please do know that this means a lot to our entire Team Oaklands community. We are very very proud of our children and young people and the fact that they are being acknowledged so publicly is really important to us. At this time of year when Edinburgh is at its most vibrant and colourful it's so so important that some of our most vulnerable people in our community, young profoundly disabled people, the sorts of young people who attend Oaklands, are recognised and acknowledged so thank you so much for that. Have a lovely day. Our next award is for the most entertaining film. We wanted to create this category for the primary and special school competition because we were so impressed by the entertainment factor, level of humour and enjoyment level of so many of these entries. The nominees for most entertaining film are... Good night, Mia. Night, Bob. <laughs> Look while you're going up to the attic. Yeah, look, the teacher's taking them to the attic. 
What is she doing with them up there? Follow oh, me, children. We need to go back. So, boss, what would you like to see in the future? Get in Brexit done. Done, done, done. And Nikki? I vote independence for Scotland. And Mr. Green? We need to act now on gender equality. We've seen the future and it's not good. I wish I could make myself invisible. Well, did it work? I don't know. I'll give it a try. Well, where did you go? Wow, that's amazing. Let's go do something about those bullies. And the winner of most entertaining film is the performance, Pan Caitlin's Primary School. Good night, Mia. Good night, Bob. <laughs> Guys, I had a really weird dream last night. Oh really, me too, that's so weird. Same. Me too. What was your dream about, Kayla? I dreamt that I fell over on stage. I dreamt that a prop fell on me. My dream was that the lights went out during my part of the play. I dreamt that I knocked over some scenery. It's so weird, it's almost scary. Well, nothing as bad as that can happen. Hopefully. Let's go.
well done, Pen Caitland. A clapperboard is winging its way to you when schools reopen. You should be proud of everything that you've achieved. Our third award is for the most creative film. Films nominated for this category we need to have shown flair in their filmmaking, using the medium of film in a clever way to get their message across or to further the narrative. The creativity on display from all primary school pupils was hugely impressive, but the following nominees shone in particular. The nominees for most creative film are What is she doing with them up there? Follow me, children. <coughs> They're watching something on the screen. Some engineering later. Beep, 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 beep. beep. Attic, Leith Primary School. Do you ever wonder what's up in the attic? You mean the attic up there? Yeah. All it is is tables and chairs. Really? Yeah. Where's Miss Height? I don't know, she's never normally this late. Where's Mrs. Hind? She's ill. Are you a new teacher? Yes, I am. I have a few tests for you guys to complete. Boring! Just what I thought. Can these following children stay behind? This is really weird. What does she want with the children? We should follow her at lunch. Guys, I think we should follow them. Yeah. Look, while you're not going up to the attic. Yeah, look, the teacher's taking them to the attic. What is she doing with them up there? Follow me, children.
watching something on the screen. Let's go for lunch before we get caught. Why on earth did you go up to the attic? The, the attic, attic is forbidden. Why are you guys acting so weird and why are you all wearing ties? This is uniform. Did you just see that? She just glitched or something. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, the new teacher's doing something weird with the kids, like they've came down and they're re acting really weird. What are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? The attic. The teacher's taking them to the attic. What is it with you and the attic? Why are you so obsessed with the attic? We need more evidence. I saw her putting something in this cupboard. I think we found what we were looking for. Guys, we should go now. What are you doing? Um, guys, let's get out of here. Run. Teacher, there isn't a new teacher, and if Miss Hind was sick, she would have told me. Kids these days, they have such big imaginations. Ah, Mrs. Hind's back! There you are, children. She glitched! No! accept the award for the most creative film on behalf of the children at Leaf Primary School. We made the film just before lockdown so it was a lovely thing for the children to be able to look back and see themselves in the school building all working together as a team. They learned so many valuable skills making the film um, but most importantly they had great fun. I'd like to thank the youth jury for watching all the films and also Screen Education Edinburgh for putting on such a fantastic competition. Our fourth award is for Best Genre Film. The winning film uses genre conventions to convey a fun and interesting story. We saw a wide and impressive range of genre used throughout all of the films submitted. However, a few of them really stood out for their attention and commitment to genre. The nominees for Best Genre Film are Boss, I've found a CCTV. Let's have a look. That's it. Wind it back. Stop there. Zoom in. Get me that number plate. On it, boss.
And the winners of Best Jonathan are The Universe That Flip by Black Hole Primary School. Hey look, come here, I found something. It's a button. Wow, thank you so much for this award. I think a huge thank you has to go to Sharon Sorensen and her team for all the time that they spent with us, teaching us the skills and techniques that you need for making a good film and all the work and effort that goes into it. Um, we chose the theme of gender inequality really because it had been in the news a lot and it really did provoke a lot of discussion and debate in the class. And I really want to congratulate the children of Primary 6B, who are now in S1 at high school, for all of their creative ideas and for their enthusiasm towards the whole film project. And thank you, of course, to the committee for giving us this award. Thank you, it means a lot. award is a very special one. As a jury, we scored this film highly and agreed that it was one of our favourites. Technical aspects such as sound and camera work were of an extremely high standard and we felt that it was creative, albeit in a slightly different way. We have a special guest to present this award. The winner of the jury selection award for best primary film is Impossible Mission 7 by Penn Caitlin Primary.
box you are looking at contains a personal and very valuable item that was stolen from me. This woman stole it and hid it away somewhere very safe. She looks harmless and is pretending to be a head teacher, but don't be fooled. She is an international criminal mastermind. She has it hidden away in this building. It looks like a school, but isn't. It's filled with traps and problems. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, is to return my stolen property to me. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. got to go through the main door, down the corridor, through these two rooms, and that's where it's hidden. There's a code. Four, one, six, three. Got it. No, there's 64 little ones, but there's lots of bigger ones. It's 204. What was the first capital of the United States of America? I know it's Washington now, what was it back then? It's Philadelphia. How many planets are there in our solar system? There's nine. No, Pluto is not a planet anymore, so there's eight. Another fantastic win for Penn Caitlin Primary School. 
They have a teacher and classes there that have been very active in film over 2020. So their jury selection award for the best primary or special school film is much deserved for all their hard work and dedication to filmmaking. Well done. Well done to all our primary and special school entries and of course to all the winners and nominees. We'll now move on to the secondary school awards. Let's kick off by looking at all the entries we've received over the past two years. by the standard of all the secondary school entries this year, especially because many of these films were independently made during lockdown. To come up with an original idea, execute it and edit a film by yourself, especially during a pandemic, is a great feat and there are certainly some filmmakers in the making emerging. Here's Laurie to kick off the awards. Our first award is for best editing. It's often said that a good screenplay or a good production can be let down in post. A film with great editing can enhance footage, each shot lasting as long as it should, cutting when it should, and how it should. We looked for that precise attention to detail in submissions. The nominees' films showed that, with the winner displaying the outstanding knack for the craft. The nominees for best editing are... Should I make some breakfast for us? I'm quite in the mood to make some fried eggs. without fail every day just to light up the sky and then the sun settling down again in a blanket of darkness encasing us. I think about stars shining brightly, each one individually. I think about the moon, sad with the knowledge I can't ever thank it for keeping me from insanity.
is locked in, Liberty and High School. suck. I hate you. Well, I hate how your face looks. <gasps> how dare you. Hello, I'm David Putcher. I'd like to say a big thank you for giving me the award for best editing. I definitely had lots of fun editing and I definitely experimented with some new editing techniques. So yeah, thank you. Our next award is for best sound. Although the sound in many films we scored was very impressive, our nominees used sound in an incredible way to further push their plot, create tension or for comedic effect. The nominees for best sound are...
about two people with completely different lives being thrown together onto the same path. I think about soulmates and love creating love. I think about the unexpected. not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. You say you love me, but I think you're biting your tongue. I'm Katie. I'm 14 years old and I'm living through a pandemic. A lot has changed in my life since we've all had to stay inside. I've been working from home for the first time ever and it feels like I haven't left the house in weeks. But I'm spending a lot more time with my parents and I've also been cooking, baking, barbecuing, knitting, gardening and watching lots of films. It's our winner, Best Friend is Isolated by Penny Cook High School. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. You're biting your tongue Cause you said it softly But when I look back it was rough So I'm holding on to all the things you said that night Cause I loved you more when you were still in my life coffee and leave your lipstick on the side cause your imperfections is everything you try and hide girl so I'm holding on to all the things you said that night cause I loved you more when you were still in my life I'd like to say thank you very much on behalf of Pennycook High School for um, this award for Craig's film for Best Sound. I think um, it, he did a really good job of um, making the best of the conditions during lockdown. And I thought it was a really good piece of filmmaking that really responded well to 
a really well written and well performed piece of music. So um, on Craig's behalf and on Pennyfield High School's behalf, thank you very much. is for the most visually impressive film. When deciding on the nominees and winners, we were looking for something that was striking and interesting to look at. We were looking for an effective, creative use of framing and camera work, as well as that, an imaginative use of setting, colour and mise-en-scene. The nominees for the most visually impressive film are... I've been really missing my friends, so to help with that, I've been doing online karate classes yeah. and drama classes on the computer. Even though I've been doing lots of things, I've always had time for chilling. Katie, you need to get ready. Bye, I'm away to meet my friends. I'll see you later. You see, it's not all bad. Things are starting to open up again. The winner of most visually impressive film is Family of Me for Hill High School. Although this film is still a work in progress, we wanted it to remain within the competition, as the whole jury were absolutely blown away by the level of skill and creativity shown. We cannot wait to see what else Emily does and for the finished film. Hope you enjoy.
Hiya, I wanted to say a quick thank you for my Visually Impressive Film Award. I was actually really surprised when I found out because I didn't realise that you could get an award for a film that you didn't finish. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for seeing whatever potential was in it and it really made my day when I heard, so thank you very much. The Creativity During Covid Award is quite self-explanatory. It's for films that were made during coronavirus where the filmmakers were very limited in terms of the locations and actors they could use. The films selected were from those who found creative workarounds despite the restrictions. The nominees for Creativity During Covid are... I've been really missing my friends, so to help with that, I've been doing online karate classes yeah. and drama classes on the computer. Even though I've been doing lots of things, I've always had time for chilling. Katie, you need to get ready. Bye, I'm away to meet my friends. I'll see you later. You see, it's not all bad. Things are starting to open up again. And the winner of the Creativity Dream Code Award is...
Hi, this is Michael Hood here to accept my award for QWERTY UEOP, the film I made earlier this year during lockdown. Uh, for a bit of context, uh, I made this when I was stuck in my own room, uh, forced to do uh, piles of history work, and uh, I had no motivation to do so. So um, I, I sort of made this film to express the feelings I had and to uh, express um, my inability to do work. So I want to thank Screen Education Edinburgh and everyone who gave me this award, my parents for feeding me and keeping me alive, and Mr. Smith for being the best media teacher ever. Thank you. Our final award is the Jury's Selection Prize. This award goes to the film that we collectively as a jury have decided is a standout entry that deserves recognition as best film. This film won the award for a variety of reasons. It averaged out as the highest scoring film across the jury. It nailed all aspects of film to great effect. And for a film made at home starring just the winner and his mother, it really was something truly special and brilliant. We have a special guest to present this award. Hello. Oh, the prize for this year's jury selection for the best secondary film goes to David Putcher of Liberton High School for his film Don't Make a Mess. I do understand how much time and effort it takes to make a film, particularly when you're at school, David, so I think you've done really well to get this made, and congratulations, and I hope that you have the best of luck as a filmmaker in the future, and that we see more from you. You should I uh, make some breakfast for us? I'm quite in the mood to make some fried eggs. Hello, my name is David Putcher. I created the film Don't Make a Mess. I'd like to just say thank you for watching my film and I'm really happy that I won the jury's award for best secondary film. It's it, it, it is quite exciting and I don't have much else to say but Thank you again. Well done to all of our secondary school entries and of course our nominees and winners. We really loved watching through all of your films. The event is almost at a close, but before we go we'd like to thank all those involved in making this competition possible, including all primary, secondary and special schools in Edinburgh and Lothians who submitted work over the last two years. Thank you to Screen Education Edinburgh, EIFF Youth, Centre for the Moving Image, Edinburgh International Film Festival and the Arts and Learning Team at City of Edinburgh Council. Hi everyone, I'm Laura Finlay. I'm the project coordinator for the Edinburgh and Lothian Schools Film Competition. I've just come on to say a huge thank you to this year's Youth Jury. 
They've worked extremely hard to watch through the films, score them, decide categories and of course winners and nominees. Not only that, but they've shaped this year's fantastic online event. We do hope that you have enjoyed it. So a huge thank you to Isla, Maisie, Alice, Laurie and Alex.